The idea is when you have a jagged camera move like this, to smooth it, this is what you would do. The graph editor is a great way to visualize this. To smooth things in Blender, you would press Alt and O, and then the more times you press O, the smoother they get. But you quickly realize this breaks your keyframes. So what you have to do instead is select all your keyframes, Shift Alt O, and then this fills in between the keyframes, then press Alt O, then this smooths them. And that's the main idea, and it works. But when you want to do edits, like if you want the camera lower here now, so what I used to do is deselect all these keyframes one by one, and now I can delete the in-between keyframes, so I can just do my edits, then add another keyframe and smooth again. This is what I used to do. But now, I've created an add-on for myself under the camera settings. I just set how smooth I want the motion to be, and then click smooth it out. And then it smooths the camera motion. And if I want to edit anything at any point, I can click revert, and then it reverts back. I can add my edit and smooth it out. And I can adjust how smooth I want it right there. And the other alternative is, if you don't want to use the add-on, is to go into your text editor right there, or press X while your mouse is hovering over the options, and then click new. Paste the script I left for you in the description, and then it doesn't matter whether your keyframes are selected or not, just make sure the camera is selected and run the script. And this will select all the in-between keyframes so you can easily delete them. Do your tweaks to the camera move, add a new keyframe and then do the smoothing again. And if you notice, if you pressed Alt-O to smooth, even if you deselect the keyframes one by one, or use the script, and delete the in-between keyframes, your main keys are a little bit smoother than they were. But with the add-on, we have the revert button. It restores you to your original keyframes. Or you can always keep a duplicate of the camera, but things can get complicated in bigger projects like this with multiple cameras and longer timelines. That's why the add-on is quite convenient. But again, I use the Shift-Alt-O and Alt-O method with deselecting the keys one by one for years. So you're more than set with the shortcuts and the script. If you want the convenience of the add-on and you want to support me, check out the add-on with the link in the description. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whenever.